cardiopulmonary resuscitation, man-to-man -man CPR, and defibrillation. Watch these man-to-man -man CPR defib scenes. Hey, are you alright? Are you alright? I need to call for help. What's that? An SOS sign. I hope I can reach there on time. Are you okay? He's not! Let's remove this backpack and all this heavy stuff on him. We need to get him on his back. Let's put him on his back. Help me, hurry. Let's hurry up. I don't think he's breathing well. On his back. He has no pulse and he's not breathing. Let's call for help. Let me get to the center of his chest. Pressing hard in the middle of his chest. I'm locking my elbows, pushing with all my weight, pushing, pushing. my weight. Three centimeters with every push. Hard, fast. I'm trying to maintain that pressure. Now let me perform rescue breathing because I know how to do it. Watch the video up here where I show you how to perform rescue breathing. Oh, he's breathing now and he has a pulse. Let's put him in recovery position. Do you now see how you or anyone can be in a position where you need to deliver CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Always look, listen and feel for the victim to assess his or her respiration. If you watch to the very end of this video, I will show you how to place any victim in recovery position. Hello? Ah, ah, I'm writing it. Yeah, tell me, sir. One minute. Mr. Patel, yeah, sir. what is this? The entire consignment you've sent me is faulty and substandard. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Patel, I have checked the consignment twice and it is faulty. I am very sure you have cheated me, Mr. Patel. I am rejecting the entire consignment right now. Hello, 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 Praveen. Listen to me. Don't do this to me, Praveen. How can he do this to me? Ah! 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 Mr. Patel, are you okay? Oh no! I need to call emergency services. He's not breathing. His breathing is not normal and his pulse seems to be faint. I'm compressing 30 times in the middle of his chest while locking my elbows and pushing with all my weight. I'm depressing his chest about 3 centimeters with every push. I'm pushing down hard and fast and trying to maintain at least 30 pushes a minute. I'm giving two rescue breaths, artificial respiration. How about the two-man CPR and defibrillation process? Hey, Mr. Mohammed! I'm looking 
listening and feeling, but he's unresponsive. Help me! Can you help me? I need to call the helpline number for an ambulance, just in case no one heard me scream out for help. Let me pump his chest, hard and fast, the center of his chest. I'm pressing in about two inches, 30 times at a rate of 100 per minute, faster than one per second. Let me blow in air into Mr. Muhammad's mouth by tilting his head back and lifting his chin. I'm pinching Mr. Muhammad's nose and putting my mouth to his. Great! The defibrillator is here. Allow him to fix the defibrillator pads while you're still continuing your CPR. Hands off to allow the defibrillator to analyze Mr. Muhammad's heart rhythm. If you want to know how to defibrillate, watch this video up here after watching this video. When he's finally responding and conscious, I need to put him in recovery position by placing his nearest arm at a right angle, then putting the back of the other hand next to the cheek closest to me and holding it there. I will now bend the far knee, grasp the far leg and roll them onto their side. I will open their airway and yes, I will call emergency services. Don't be scared of placing your defibrillator pads and using your defibrillator pads when the need arises. Most defibrillator pads these days have drawings on them indicating how they're to be placed on the chest. I'm giving Mr. Carl two breaths while watching to see his chest rise. Each breath is going to take me one second, meaning that I'll give artificial respiration in this cycle twice. I'm repeating this whole heart-lung sequence five times. Effective exposure of the chest is a basic requirement of CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Having another person who knows how to perform CPR can help reduce your fatigue while performing this cardiopulmonary resuscitation, as you can then take turns and will not get tired. Defibrillator pads should stick well to the chest and please don't forget to avoid shocking yourself during the defibrillation process. CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation is an emergency procedure. Many times you may be able to perform a two-man CPR process as I explained in detail in this video up here. And other times you may be the only individual available to ensure a new lease of life to that victim. Watch this playlist to save a life. I'm Dr. Hadiza Merlia Suleiman, your favorite holistic reconstructive surgeon. Let me know if you found this video and those in the playlist helpful.